Hi, this is Mark Ellis welcoming you to Window on the World, a unique weekly discussion on the state of the church around the world and how it affects you. Our hosts are international journalist Dan Wooding, founder and director of Assist Ministries, and Bruce Sonnenberg, pastor of the Village Church of Irvine, California. This program is brought to you by Assist Ministries. And now, here's Bruce. Thank you very much, Mark. This is Dan Wooding. Uh, sadly, Bruce couldn't be with us today. He's in Uganda ministering to people with HIV and AIDS there. But we do have my dear friend Ernie Ching, a uh, Christian attorney here in Southern California. Good to be with you again, And uh, Holland Davis. And Holland is the uh, worship pastor at Calvary Chapel, Costa Mesa, California, and also the head of Calvary Chapel Music. And uh, we thought we'd end our three-part series with Holland on a rather strange note. Holland has just released a... Uh, an album by the Safaris and those who can remember Wipeout, which was a huge hit uh, in the, was in the 70s, was it? The, the, when late first, 60s. Late 60s, yeah. early 70s. Okay. And also a band that has modeled itself after the early martyrs of uh, Britain. And so, first of all, how on earth would you sign up the Safaris and release their album? Well, um, it's a great story because Bob Berryhill, uh, at the point where the Safaris had really hit the pinnacle of success, you got to keep in mind, these guys were like high school students when they yeah. did this. They were really young. But, you know, with all the success, it just left him empty, as, as everything does if we don't know the Lord. And he came to... A Bible study with Pastor Chuck Smith and through that Bible study made the decision to give his life to the Lord and has been really serving the Lord ever since and recently decided that you know I'm going to go back and and do what he loves to do which is surf music and all his kids have grown up playing surf music with him so it's really kind of a family affair the his wife plays bass his son, uh, one son plays guitar and his other son plays drums and they go out now and use the name Safaris to play in places that normally they wouldn't be able to get into and they use it as a way to preach the gospel. That's fascinating. Now you've got a, a the other extreme, a band called Smithfield and I happen to know that was where the early martyrs uh, in Britain were actually burnt at the stake. Mm -hmm. And um, you've got a band now that you uh, are releasing an album that you uh, you produced, um, which is based on that name. Tell us a bit about Smithfield. Well, Smithfield really is a great band, but what they're really about is preaching the gospel. And the, we released them on a label, it's a sub-label of Calvary Music called Aldersgate Street Records. And if you know, that's where the Wesleys would preach and yeah. where Methodism kind of got and it started. They found that, I think they accepted Christ mm -hmm. on Aldersgate Street. That's right, that's yeah. right. And so because of that, you know, really this music is fueled with a passion for God, but they want to reach the youth. They want to reach people that just don't ever hear the gospel. Hmm. Holland, I want to ask you, you're the... Uh, minister of music there how do you see music uh, being able to touch the lives of young people and how does that draw them to the Lord well I think just to take a step back we look in the scriptures and we see that music touches all people it's been in every culture at every generation level mm -hmm. at every age at every economic structure music is the universal language it's the music of the heart it's the language of the heart and so God oftentimes I see uses music as a way to touch us in ways that maybe will put up emotional barriers or intellectual barriers, but when our hearts are stirred by a song and that song is infused with the gospel, it's a lethal combination to the to the heart. What a passionate story. Yeah, well thank you, Holland, so much for coming. And again, what's the website if people want more information? They can come to Calvarychapel.com and they can find out all about the things we're doing. But we also have a free uh, website for worship leaders to come and just hear the songs, download them, teach them to their church, and that's at worshipsong.com. Holland Davis, thank you very much. Thanks again, Holland. We hope you enjoyed today's program, and we urge you to tune in next time when we bring you a unique window on the world. If you'd like a free subscription to Assist News Service, just log on to our website at www.assistnews.net. That's www.assistnews.net. You can also sign up as a pen pal for China, Taiwan, or Russia via our website, or make a gift to help our ministry continue. Until next time, this is Mark Ellis wishing you God's blessings.